Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be talking about everything that I have purchased during this quarantine time. One of my friends did this video. Her name is The Jessie Jen, so I'll leave her channel link below. This is not a collab or anything, but I really liked uh, the video she did on this and I thought it would just be a fun thing to do. Luckily, I'm very blessed to still have my job. I'm working from home right now. Obviously too, I make somewhat of a living off of making these videos, so I am very lucky. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you have purchased during this time. So I guess without further ado, I'm just gonna get on into this video. So starting off, I wanted to mention a charity that you can give to. I will leave um, a whole like list down below, but it's really important to give back if you can. And I just wanted to put that in this video because I have made a personal donation to a local charity um, here. It's United Way. So I just really encourage you to look online and give to any charity in your community that could use the help because I'm sure a lot of people could use help right now. And that's one thing that we can do to make a more positive impact on what's going on right now. So the first thing I want to show is this fake ring. It's not actually fake. It's real metal and stuff. It's stainless steel, I think. And it's basically like a fake Cartier love ring, Cartier, Cartier love ring, and I got it off of eBay. I'll link all the stuff down below if I can find it, um, so you guys can shop it if you want. But this is a size seven. These things run super small, but this fits perfect on my ring finger, so I just wear it on my ring finger. But I really wanted to wear it on my pointer finger, but my finger is too fat. And the first time I bought one of these, it was way too small. Like it wouldn't fit on any of my fingers. So it was embarrassing because I was like, oh, I need to kind of return this. I decided to just keep this one because I already returned another one. And I was like, I'll just wear it on this finger. It's fine. The next thing I got is this fake love bracelet because I really, really love the design and I love the concept and I love the story behind it. I just think it's really cute. And I don't know, there's just something about this bracelet that I really like. Got this one off of eBay. So both of these pieces came from eBay and this bracelet came with a screwdriver so it's all good in that department like it hasn't fallen off or anything but I'm gonna say one of the screws comes out a little too far so it scrapes my skin a bit but I don't really care it doesn't scrape me like all the time it just scrapes me sometimes the next item I'm gonna show you guys is the most adorable sweatshirt ever and I splurged a little bit on it it is this Disney and Gucci inspired okay it's kind of a knockoff honestly of the disney and gucci collection i absolutely love this it looks almost like the exact same thing only the real one is like over a thousand dollars so that is what it looks like and it's so comfortable i got this off of etsy again i will link it down below so you guys can shop it the next item was really a stupid purchase but i decided to get it because i thought it was cute and i could use it maybe next year for a photo or for decoration in my room, something like that. But I got this Easter basket because it was on clearance on the Pottery Barn Kids website. And I came across this from Karen from Taking Baby J, obviously, cause like I follow them. And they had these cute little bunny Easter baskets and the ears are so long. When you set it down on an actual surface, the ears kind of like lay like this. And I just thought it was the cutest thing. They were out of the version I wanted. So this is the, what they had left. So I was like, okay, whatever, I'll just, I'll just get it. I'll be influenced by an influencer. During this time though, I'm going to mention that I have been influenced by influencers a lot more than I normally have been. I normally never really care what influencers promote or show. This is another item that I was influenced by, uh, this big hair scrunchie. So short story, one of my coworkers, Amelia, I don't know if she watches my channel, but anyway, Amelia had this really cute, big scrunchie, kind of like looking like this only it was black and I think she got it at Target. And I was like, oh, I really want that, but you know, I don't want to copy her or whatever. So I was like, I'll admire it from afar. And then I was scrolling on Instagram and then Amber fill her up. She's a really big blogger on Instagram and stuff. Um, her company and everything is known by, I believe the barefoot blonde hair. So she does hair extensions, hair tutorials, everything like that, lifestyle, beauty. And she was showing hairstyles that you could wear with big scrunchies like this. And I was like, okay, it's a sign, I have to get it. So 
I got the exact one she got because I like the color. I just ordered it. It's from Free People and it's called the Super Scrunchie. And this one is in the color mauve. So the next thing I have purchased during this quarantine time, you already saw, you have been seeing on my channel, which is my intro and my in card or in slate, whatever you want to call it. It was a hefty price, but I think it was worth it. And I was supporting a local creator, not local, she lives in California, but I was supporting a small creator. She makes graphics for a lot of the big names you see on YouTube, like Alicia Marie, Aspen Ovard, Miss Remy Ashton. Those are just a few to name some, but I love her work. She was a pleasure to work with. I kind of want to make a video about working with her because it was so smooth. It's almost like how I work with clients when I do get little jobs on the side. Her Instagram username is at type Haley, and you can see a lot of her work that she's done for bigger YouTubers and other content creators. And I highly recommend her if you're looking for YouTube graphics or just graphic design in general, if you're looking for something. Her style is really aesthetic, I guess, but she knows how to do other styles too. Hence like Aspen Ovard's vibe isn't the same as Alicia Marie. And the last few things I have purchased during this period of time are the Chloe Ting Workout Resistance bands they say keep thrusting and there comes three in a pack so i have the light pink one this is the it's the weakest one out of all three of them and then here we have this purple one that looks like so this is the medium strength and then here is the toughest strength and this is this blue color blue teal and it's super super hard and then they all come in this little cute bag i think that's obviously supposed to be chloe and it's just this tan drawstring bag and now i want to pose a question to you guys i will leave a poll on the screen or you can let me know in the comments i don't know what to get should i get a bike because i've been really wanting a bike or should i get airpods the struggle's real i don't know what to get so i want you to kind of help me also don't forget to check out the links down below to where you can donate and help any organization during this period of time, everything that we're going through. And that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.